guys, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so I have a cool video for you all. This is my first Zara haul because every fashion YouTuber is doing a Zara haul right now. And so I thought to do something a little different and style Zara knits and Zara basics for fall for you guys mixed in with things that I already have in my wardrobe. So everything that's still available from Zara will be linked down below in the description box. Make sure to sign up for an email notification if it is sold out. You guys know they restock often and I will also include similars from other websites down below in the description box as well. So let's just go ahead and get right into the haul starting with some Zara knits. All right guys, let's get started. We're going to start with my first cord piece from Zara and it is this knitted kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a gray mocha brownish color set. It has a faux turtleneck and what I love about this piece is that your shoulders are out and then you just place your arms into these very long sleeves. This is just a vibe. Like the whole cutout of the shoulder is very, kind of sexy without being overtly sexy. And of course it comes with a matching skirt that is also thickly ribbed, very good quality. This hits me about mid calf or even a little bit above my ankles. It's a fairly long knit pencil skirt. Everybody needs a pencil skirt for fall and winter. They're super easy to style. You can wear them with a cute ankle boot. You can throw on a nice trench coat, a long sleeve turtleneck, and it's a look. Now the great thing about cords, the thing that I love the most is that you get the most bang for your buck for sure. You can wear the skirt by itself in the way that I just explained it separately with a nice boot, a turtleneck, a very tightly like cotton turtleneck and a blazer or a trench coat. You can wear this with a pair of denim mom jeans and a blazer and maybe some fuzzy slippers. So you're getting pretty much two pieces that work really well together for a more chic put together monochrome look or you can wear them separately. Now my favorite thing about cords is of course you get more bang for your buck, but the knit sets from Zara are so well made that they will be in your wardrobe for at least a few years. This is not something that you just buy, wear once or twice, and then toss away. The quality of their knits is impeccable. You see that? It is plush, it is super soft. All of the Zara knit pieces that I've bought from even five years ago, I still have them in my wardrobe. So if you're in the market for knits, Zara is where it's at. If this one is still available, I will link it down below in the description box. But if not, I will link similars because you can find a great knit cord pretty much anywhere. I just really love the quality of Zara's pieces. Now for sizing, for the top, go with your normal size. I'm a little bit more broad shoulder, so I tend to get Zara mediums. The medium fit me perfectly, super soft and plush against my skin. Now for the Zara knit skirts, I always size down because they do tend to run big and they have an extraordinary amount of stretch. In the skirt, I got a small, even though I'm normally a medium, and the small fits perfectly. And then the top, I got my normal size. Definitely with their knit pencil skirts with a lot of stretch, you can probably get away with going a size down for sure. I can definitely see myself wearing this around the house. Just because it's so cozy, it almost feels like pajamas. But that is the first set we got from Zara. Now I'm going to show you the second set. All right, guys. So here is the second set that I got from Zara. It's another cord top and skirt. This one comes in black and it is a crop top. Of course, it is also ribbed and has a little square neck here. I love how dainty this looks on. The straps aren't very thick, but they are also aren't very thin. And I just like the shape of it. I feel like it's very flattering. And even though it's a crop top, it doesn't show a lot. It's pretty long in length in the front. It, it covers up my belly button for sure. And the skirt, does have a really nice detail here. It's more of like a wrap skirt 
as you can see it has this piece that just wraps around in the front there is no slit this skirt is a little bit longer than the previous skirt. I feel like it hits me just above my ankles and I am five foot six inches tall, just in case you're interested. Again, for the skirt, I went with a size small. I sized down and it fits wonderfully. The first skirt was more of a kind of sweatery knit material. Although this is knit, this is not very like soft. This is more sturdy. I feel like I can wash this a hundred times and it will always bounce back and hold its shape and that's what I look for when buying my knit pieces for fall. Really beautiful, can definitely see myself wearing this around the house, getting work done, making myself a coffee in the morning. And again, the great thing about the cords is that you can wear them separately or together for a more chic put together monochrome look. This top will work beautifully with a pair of high-waisted mom jeans and a blazer. This, I can throw this on with like a simple white tee, maybe my Louis Vuitton slides and a thick blazer and it works. You definitely get more money or more wear out of your, your cord pieces. That's this one. Now for this look, I paired it with another buy from Zara and I think I'm most excited about these slides oh my goodness these fuzzy slippers from zara are everything when i saw them in the store i had to have them yes i actually went in store and bought these things i went to one zara and they didn't have these in my size so i ended up going to another zara and finding them i actually did not get my size i'm normally a 41 in shoes which translates to a 10 in zara sizes all they had is a 40 but the 40 fits fine you can probably get away with sizing down one size in these or sizing down a half size if they come in half sizes in these because they do run a little big so they are a nice fuzzy slipper made for outdoors they have that thick bottom you see the ribbing on the bottom so you're not slipping and sliding everywhere but the base of these are pretty thick they're pretty much like a platform fuzzy slipper and i just love the color of this it is really very soft they can be a little tight and require some breaking into but i absolutely adore them i find them very <laughs> cool you know loungewear is really in right now and i'm thinking that brands are finding ways to transition loungewear into daywear things that you can actually wear outside fuzzy slippers have been huge these last like few months that people have been quarantining at home they're cute they're aesthetically pleasing they just make you feel warm and fuzzy they keep your feet warm and i kind of knew that they would transition into being something that you can wear out during the day a lot of brands are starting to make these i even wore a similar pair of slippers in my bustle feature if you guys haven't checked that out, I did kind of vlog a little bit of it. You can check that out. And I will also link my Bustle article down below as well because it talks about all the fall trends and it's fall. So a lot of brands are making these. I think these look fantastic with this set. It's a whole vibe. Like you have a matching set. It's a knit set. It's ribbed. And then you have a pair of really chic, cool, fuzzy slippers with it it's so cute and like you throw a blazer on over that and you wear that outside to the mailbox to your local bodega maybe to get some groceries it's a look now i have a feeling that these are going to be sold out by the time this video goes live i think people are catching on so i would definitely link similar fuzzy slippers down below in the description box for you guys guys so next up I'm gonna show you a few single pieces we're done with the cords and we will start with this beautiful body suit that I'm currently wearing I love Zara for a good bodysuit by the way you guys know that I live for a bodysuit this bodysuit has two snaps down at the bottom super thin straps it kind of has a like rounded sweetheart neckline ribbed all the way throughout with this little line detailing now for the sizing i went with the size small like i said i am normally a medium but these have quite a bit of stretch and i have a smaller bust and so the small worked 
perfectly for me. I'm loving neutral tones. You could probably see that everything that was on my rack is very muted, browns, nudes, toffees, taupes, and Zara just kills it when it comes to color palettes. They know what's trending right now. They know that muted colors are really in. And I like that this is a nice neutral color. It goes well with my skin tone and I can wear it with pops of color, either with blazers or pants. Really good to be a really nice neutral. Now for a styling, I ended up pairing this bodysuit with one of my favorite pair of boyfriend jeans from the brand of Goldie. It kind of has like this one little piece of fabric that just hangs that's kind of distressed. They're more of a wide leg denim jean, but they are pretty high waisted and snug on the waist. I feel like a bodysuit always looks bomb with a pair of jeans, whether that's a pair of high waisted mom jeans or boyfriend jeans, especially in this color. I feel like this color pairs really well with a nice blue denim. And of course, because I love the neutral tone of the bodysuit, I paired it with one of my favorite blazers. You guys have seen this blazer so many times. It is a pink kind of shiny linen blazer from and Other Stories. It's very boxy in the shoulder, very oversized. I love rolling up the sleeves. One of my favorite blazers for spring that I think will transition really well into fall because of the pale pink color. I loved how this outfit turned out with that blazer and this Zara bodysuit and my Goldie distressed jeans. To kind of keep it a neutral tone because of the pop of color with the pink, I went with a more neutral shoe, which are my Gia Pernil test back mules they're kind of like puffy mules i got these from farfetch i love these mules i actually wore them all day i think for the first time about a week ago and they are so comfortable i literally walked all of fifth avenue which is like 10 blocks <laughs> maybe it's more than 10 blocks in these shoes and they are so comfortable these are a little bit more pricey but i have seen a few dupes that are very affordable. So I will link a few of these down below for you guys. These main ones, I will link these down below. They come in about five different colors. This brown, which to me is like a nude, it comes in a darker brown, kind of like a chocolate brown, a white, a stark white, an off-white, and I think like a few different colors, but they're all kind of in the neutral palette, which works really great for fall. I will also link a few dupes that are similar as well. What I love about these is that they are Velcro. So if you have a wider foot or a more narrow foot, you can really customize the experience. And then that puffiness is just, it's so in. Love these, square toe, also very on trend. And so this is kind of how I would style this Zara bodysuit for fall. Definitely a nice blazer. Doesn't matter the color, probably a nice pair of blue jeans, whether mom jeans, boyfriend jeans with a little bit more of a relaxed fit, and a nice nude shoe. I will also link the denim jeans from a Goldie. I believe they are a size 28, so I think you should go with your normal size or size down one size. And if the blazer is still available from and other stories, I will link that as well as a few similar items that are more affordable. And so that's how I style this beautiful ribbed body. And now let's get into the next piece. All right, guys. So next up we have this beautiful kind of minty seafoam green blue knit crop top. It's more like a razor back tank without the razor back <laughs> but this is just a really great basic piece the ribbing is really nice this is super soft it does have a good amount of stretch in it as well and i went for this specifically for the color i've been really into this sage green sea foam blue color i just think it's so flattering for fall and goes well with a really neutral wardrobe as well. I definitely feel like this is one of the colors of the season. Ugh, it's just so soft. It's so soft. So let's get into how I would style 
this piece by the way i got this in a size medium i don't think they had a small but i'm actually pretty happy that i went with the medium because it doesn't fit as tight i feel like for this top you can go with your normal normal size and i also think they have this in a few different colors as well hopefully they are still available if so i will link them down below if not i will link similars if it is still available and it's sold out you can always sign up for the email notifications because zara does restock pretty regularly and they send those emails out as soon as something is restocked so that you can get it so as soon as i got this top i knew exactly how i wanted to style this i have had these faux leather shorts from the song of style collection i feel like i got them at the beginning of the year as a pr gift and i just knew that they would work so well with this top these faux leather shorts they have pockets they look kind of like a bermuda short i mean all the fashion girls were wearing these last year and i think they will still be trending this year when it comes to like fall and winter fashion so i definitely had to pair them together i love how this kind of more of a lighter brighter softer more feminine color pairs with black leather i mean it's a match made in heaven and i love the way it looks now for the outerwear of course i went with my taupe i think this is taupe the frankie shop oversized boyfriend blazer i mean just look at this color palette that color palette is everything this color palette screams fall it screams trend and it just screams like easy model off duty i'm gonna be on pinterest pinned a hundred million times cool and collected outfit i mean it checks all the boxes cool blazer really wonderful feminine soft ribbed knit you got your leather shorts and of course for the shoes i went with my bottega veneta lido mules in that nude color so i've gotten a few questions about these mules i actually have a whole video showing all of my bottega veneta shoe collection so check that out if you're interested in knowing more about these but yes they are true to size yes they are comfortable and even though they are very expensive i feel like they were one of my best buys of the year i wear them so much actually i bought these last year but i wear them so often the color just goes with everything this is exactly down to the shoe how i would style this beautiful ribbed tank from zara i'm pretty sure it was less than 20 bucks and it just looks really expensive hopefully it's still available and you guys can check it out if not hopefully you kind of got a, a sense of how to style one of these basic knits from zara so if that look tickled your fancy, I would be sure to link the blazer as well as the faux leather shorts and the Bottega mules and maybe a few dupes of the mules as well. Hopefully the shorts are still in stock. If not, I'll link similars to those as well. So let's get into the very last piece. Yes, this is a pretty quick video. I mean, you know, I only bought like things I knew that were going to last and that I was going to wear because hopefully this is going to be like my last fall winter season in new york city i am planning on moving to miami and actually living there during the fall and winter months of the year and living in new york during the spring and summers so i have one more piece and of course it's another body another bodysuit from zara let's get into it all right guys, so last but certainly not least is this bodysuit from Zara in kind of like a, a smoky rose, a kind of mauvey brown, millennial, it's not really millennial pink, but I love this color. This is probably one of my favorite colors. As you can see, <laughs> it matches my chairs. So this is not really a knit, but it is ribbed. This is from the Zara Basics collection. This actually comes in a few different colors as well. And it does not have snaps. It's a full bodysuit, which is great. Sometimes snaps can be annoying because they just 
add bulk but good for when you need to go to the restroom still love this for sizing i got the size medium large which actually worked for me because i have a longer torso so this doesn't come in small medium or large it comes in i think extra small small and medium large based on me <laughs> you can kind of judge which one you will need for yourself like i said i got the medium large and it fits pretty well it fits perfectly and it does have a significant amount of stretch so just keep that in mind if you plan on purchasing this bodysuit that everyone on youtube has i watched a few youtube zara videos and i've seen this quite a lot so this is very popular. Hopefully it's still available. If not, of course, I will link similar items for you all down below. Now for styling this bodysuit, I paired it with one of my favorite pair of mom jeans from And Other Stories. And Other Stories, when it comes to denim, their denim is just it. Super well made, will last you forever. One of my favorite pair of high-waisted mom jeans. I think they are sold out, but I found a similar pair at Abercrombie, which I also own, and so I kind of switch back and forth between the two. I will link both pairs down below if they are available. But I think a bodysuit like this always looks good with a pair of high-waisted jeans that really accentuate the smallest part of your waist. That's exactly how I knew I was going to style this bodysuit. And then, of course, I had to throw a blazer on it because it's fall and why not? I love blazers. I, I do. I can't, I can't help myself. So for the blazer, I went with this black kind of a shiny linen blazer. This is also from And Other Stories. This is the black version to the blush pink version that I showed you guys earlier. This is definitely quite pricey. I think online right now it's about $200, but it's definitely for me worth it because I've worn it so much. I actually wore it in Montauk to the beach and took some fire photos in it but just a classic black blazer that everyone needs in their wardrobe but I like that this one is a little bit lighter. The fabric is not thick of course it's kind of like a shiny linen very well made. I always get my blazers big even though they're made to look big. I think this is a size 10. I'm normally a size six to eight in blazers from and other stories and it just works it's a really lovely very well made blazer i'm pretty sure i'm gonna wear this every day of fall so <laughs> stay tuned i have a feeling it's going to sell out if it hasn't already so i will link this if it's still available and of course i will link similar options for you all as well and of course for the footwear bam i went with my bottega veneta esh pumps with the uh, gold chain detailing i don't know what it is about these shoes but i love them okay i got these last year and i've worn them non-stop since i also have them in the nude color that is more of a summer spring shoe where this one i feel like is a more fall winter shoe just because of the color i think the color is called berry i don't know why it's called berry because it's not like they're purple, they're clearly black. But I feel like they go really well with my blazer. And it's just the look, that color palette with this and black and the blue denim. I mean, it's just a lovely color palette for fall and winter. That, my dears, is how I would style this stretchy ribbed bodysuit from Zara, not exactly a knit, but it gives you the look of a knit, super looks. Like I know if I wash this, it's gonna last, which is what I love most about Zara basics and Zara knits. All right, love, so that is it for today's Zara basics and knits styling fall haul. I hope you all enjoy the video. I apologize in advance if anything is already sold out. You all seem to get very angry sometimes when things are sold out. I can't really control that but please do if you want to know what I'm buying. I think I'm gonna start sending it out in my newsletter. So click the link down below in my description box to subscribe 
to my newsletter and be notified as soon as I buy something new when it comes to fashion. I think I'm gonna start doing like a weekly roundup. That way you can see what I'm buying in advance. You can get yours while it's still in stock. I think that's what I'll do to kind of make sure that those who are very interested in shopping my picks are able to get them while they're still in stock. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you never miss a video. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.